Let's jump right into things. I'm going to show you how to do flux in painting right here on Pixel Dojo. To get started, we're just going to log right in and we're going to head over to the menu and go to the flux image creator. This has all the different flux models. You can see over here in the drop down, you've got Schnell, Schnell Laura, Hyperflux 8 and 16, Flux Pro, Realism, and even Flux Dev with Laura support. So from here, why don't we just jump in and we'll go to Flux Dev Laura, and then we'll jump down to my Laura model selection here, and we'll go with Taylor Swift, why not? You can see that when you click on the Laura, it automatically adds the token to the prompt box up here. And we can just say, sitting in a cafe in Lisbon. Now we could take this and we can go a step further and you can click this AI enhance feature. That's gonna go ahead and take your prompt that you've already entered and it's just gonna elaborate on it. So you can see right now it says, focus on Talk Swifty seated in a quaint outdoor cafe nestled in a bustling Lisbon street. It creates a really nice detailed prompt for you. So you don't have to even sit here and think about it at all. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll go with the Instagram portrait size and we'll click generate. And in just a few seconds, we've got the first image coming back. Now we can go ahead and just click on this save button. That's gonna save it to my images over here on Pixel Dojo. And then you can just jump on over to one of the other tools. So we could go to, for example, the enhance tab over here and we can go to flux in painting. And this is gonna be really cool. So now once you're on the flux in painting, you can see you've got to enhance your images by seamlessly removing and replacing elements. You can scroll down here to my images and you'll see here's the image we just created. So we'll just click on that. It's going to load it into the canvas and then you've got all these brush tools that you can use. So you can go ahead and select the brush size, the blur amount, or this is really cool too and we can touch on this in a minute. You can either do brush-based or prompt-based in-painting. With the prompt-based in-painting, all you have to do is tell it what you want and what you don't want in the image, and it'll go ahead and take care of it. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush over her shirt and just cover this up with a mask. So we'll go ahead and just do this really quickly. And you can see you can adjust the brush size so you can get these kind of nice big brush strokes so this goes pretty quickly. And you don't have to be super precise from what I've found. So that should be good enough. So we'll go down here and just describe what you want to create in the masked area. And we'll just say a t-shirt that reads Pixel Dojo. We're not going to mess with strength or anything else. We're just going to click on submit. And this takes just a minute, but it's going to come back with an in-painted image that hopefully is pretty cool. And check that out. That's pretty awesome, especially for a first shot that you had to have didn't have to iterate over this or do anything else. This is just straight out of the box, what we got. So you can see it changed her V-neck shirt over to kind of a, a regular style neck t-shirt. It looks pretty natural and you got Pixel Dojo right there on it. Now what we can do from here is we can just click on save. You could even, if you wanted to, send this to the upscaler, but I don't think there's really a reason to do that at this point. But what else could we do here? Well, we could come up and we could reset this. So you just click the reset button, that undoes it. And we can go over to the prompt based in painting instead. This prompt based in painting is really cool because you basically just describe what you want and don't want to keep in the image. So describe what you want to replace. So we'll say black t-shirt. And what you want to keep, we'll say woman, uh, we'll kind of comma separate this woman background and describe what you want to create. So we're gonna say a red shirt that reads Pixel Dojo. Now in the background, this is doing two cool things. This is using that segment anything that Meta released, I don't know, a few months ago. And what it does is it basically creates different layers or segments of the image. In this case, it's gonna segment the shirt, the background, all these different things. And so it creates these masks for you programmatically just by using a prompt. Pretty awesome technology. And then the second step of this after it's done with that is gonna be to actually create the in-painted image itself using that mask. And then we have a really similar result actually, pretty cool. So we did this just with prompting, kind of blows my mind that we didn't have to do any segmenting of this whatsoever. So there's what you get out of this. As usual, the entire goal of Pixel Dojo is to make this stuff as simple and as accessible as possible. So you can see there's two different types of in-painting, brush-based and prompt-based, 
all baked right into Pixel Dojo. Check it out. You can subscribe. It's one low price monthly. You get access to this as well as the 20 plus other tools that are built right in. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff. As always, I'm Brian, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.